Hi, this is Jeff. This is the uh, new web blog talking about um, risks related to user profile values or profile values that can be set at the user level. And in particular, um, this personal profile values for, form uh, that's displayed here. Um, I'll talk about the function name in a little bit, but the gist of this discussion is that this personal profile values form is a form that is all over the application. It's contained in a lot of submenus. And what this does is allow a user to um, set a value of a profile option um, for a variety of different profile options. So if uh, for those that are, are not familiar with profile options, um, you can set profile options at various levels within the application and I'll show you a form um, in a minute where those profile options are defined. And um, the, 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 the lowest level or the level that overrides all other levels is the user level. Um, you can set things at the user level, responsibility, uh, application, and site level. And if you set something at the user level, it's going to override things that are set at the responsibility, application, or site level. So this is the personal profile values form. What I want to show you here is how many um, profile options can be overridden at the user level. So where, where it's a, the value is white, I can choose to override. In this case, some of them have list of values. In some cases, it, there is no list of values set. You're, just, you're defining a value um, by entering it manually. So I'm just going to scroll down here. The ones that are in blue are ones that um, don't allow it to be updated, allows it to be viewed and that they can see what it's set, the default value. This is probably set at the site level, uh, but they can't necessarily override at the user level. So like this one that's in white would be able to override at the user level ver versus this one in blue would not. So you can see um, a variety of user uh, profile options that can be set at the user level here. And now we're going to look further at uh, what the impact of this is. Got some cheat, uh, some notes here for me. I wanted to go through things in a particular order, so I'm going to flip back to my notes here. So I showed you the user profile profile values form. We're going to show the defined profile options form, um, and I'm going to switch here uh, from the Pavel's responsibility to application developer. I'm in the Solution Beacon instance uh, again, thanks to Solution Beacon for hosting. Um, a public domain instance where I can go and play uh, and show you guys issues such as this. So this is the profile options form where profile options are defined. Um, I just did a blind query and in this, uh, in this environment there's about 9,000 um, different unique profile options. Um, the key here is this user access. This defines what happens with the user form. Is it visible? And more importantly, is it updatable? So if I went through uh, and this account generated run in debug mode and I went to that personal profile options form, it would be updatable. In other words, I could choose a yes or no value um, and that would then override what's happening. Um, so I just scroll through here and again, supporting, if you look for ones that are updatable, supporting what we found in that form. Some are updatable, some are visible, some are updatable, but generally if I scroll through this forms, there's probably hundreds if not thousands of different profile options. Profile options drive a lot of security issues, a lot of functionality, and can have an impact on controls. So generally, um, you don't want to allow users to um, override any uh, key, key configurations or configurations in the application where it would have an impact on the way the functionality works in the system or security or the way that the controls are defined. So my general recommendation is, um, as I'll talk about towards the end, that all um, profile option changes should go through change management um, other than certain ones that are exempted. And I'm going to go back to my notes here. So we looked at the user profile values form, the defined profile values form. I'm going to show you some submenus where this personal profile values or, or sometimes it's referred to as user profile values forms are contained. So I'm going to switch over now to system administrator responsibility, pull up the menus form. So FND 4.0 is one that does contain this uh, function profile user values. There are every major seated menu will contain this in some form or fashion. 
Um, sometimes it's contained under this FND Other 4.0 menu, or some modules um, have it in its own reports menu that is there for other reasons. Um, like this is the AR one that, um, I'm sorry, it does, it's not contained there. I take it back. Um, let me find it in the AR. Well, it's in, it's in the AR. If I just go to Receivables Manager, it's there somewhere. somewhere. Um, I'm not sure what sub it's contained under, but we'll take a quick look. I think it's, maybe it's the control menu. Oh, another way, yeah, it, it, there it is, the control menu, profile options. Um, if I go to payables menu, it's going to find the same thing. So we'll go to payables, uh, payables vision operations. It's on the other menu, other requests, this again, or other, sorry, not requests, other profile. So you can see, again, it's, it's all over the application. And um, generally, if you're using sub-menus or, or standard menus to build your responsibilities, probably all your users or most of your users will have access to this form. So the other thing I wanted to show you is the ability to figure out what sub-menus it's in through the functional administrator um, menu. And this is a, some new functionality in, in R12. So I'm going to go to Functional Administrator, and this is a OA framework form, so it's going to launch a new um, yeah, new browser session here. And if you go to Core Services Functions and type in person, let's see, profile values, where was that? Profile user values. Um, it brings up the function, and actually, if you click on this, it shows you the details of it, and then you can find out what menus it's contained in. So this is not a um, foolproof query. It shows you what menus, but doesn't necessarily show you what um, menus that these menus are contained in. So it's not um, the, the ultimate query, but it shows you what um, submenus that where this value is contained or this particular function is contained in. You can see that the prompt is different. So in some in cases, in some submenus, it's called profile. Sometimes it's called profile options. Sometimes it's called user profile options. Um, and I'll just scroll through here. Um, and you can see as I'm just switching from, uh, from screen to screen. And you can see that it's contained in a lot of different submenus. Uh, we'll see how many it's contained in here. So this one particular function is contained in 194 different menus. So if you're using any of these menus anywhere in your application, whether it's a, uh, a sub-menu or a, a menu, a main menu for your building of responsibilities, you have this form contained in it, which is problematic because, um, like I said, generally speaking, hundreds if not thousands of users, depending upon your size of your environment or a very large percentage, will have access to this form. Um, so I showed you a little bit the, the breadth of where this is. I'm going to talk about recommendations. So I have a white paper that I put together here that kind of demonstrates this as you could pass on to people in your organization. And at the bottom is, is a recommendations. Generally what I recommend is the user profile values, the personal profile, profile values form is not granted to anybody in the application um, because of the risks contained and a user overriding a profile option where it would not be appropriate. Now, so by default, everything from a profile option value should go through, or uh, profile options changes should go through your change management process. Um, some organizations have gone through and picked out certain lower risk, like Java color scheme, printer, um, printer type, concurrent, you know, report copies. And they've actually personalized that form um, to allow users just to maintain certain values. So the, the list of values that would show when they go into that form would be restricted to just those they can maintain. Um, absent that personalization to the, to the form, everything should go through change management and maybe exempting certain lower, uh, lower risk 
values from going through change management, but if a, if a request is put into your help desk, um, those would be done without going through the change management process because the risk has been evaluated. So that is um, the, the recap of um, the risks related to it. I was just going to show you one other thing, which was at a system, at sysadmin, when I'm building security for clients, what I like to do where the risk isn't mitigated is come up with a standard menu um, that I can use for all um, all custom menus. So my re recommendation is every responsibility has its own custom menu associated with it, and you're building a a series of sub menus into that uh, into that particular menu that's appropriate for that role. So this would be a JTH request menu, something I would recommend, which is just just a um, a mirror image of this FND uh, four menu that we looked at. Um, and maybe there's a couple other things in here if you're running inventory orgs, just change orgs should, should belong. But in essence, I've just pulled out some things from this menu other than the profile user values. And this, this menu now becomes the basis for um, gaining access to running concurrent programs, um, defining request sets, and viewing output uh, without necessarily giving them the standard menu. So I'll go into that at an, in another blog of, of how I build custom menus. I think it's fairly intuitive if you, if you do this on a regular basis. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, again, the personal profile values or the user profile values form, my recommendation generally is it's not, um, it's not assigned to anybody in a production environment or that form is personalized um, to, to restrict uh, that to just a few profile options that you've evaluated the risk and feel comfortable them uh, making those changes in that environment. So uh, I don't, unfortunately don't have a spec for that to publish. Um, if you have a spec of uh, where you've personalized that form, I'd love to be able to, to pass that on to people through, uh, through my uh, a variety of different forms that we share public information like that. So um, feel free to send that on. If you have any questions about this topic or anything else, please send me an email at jhare, uh, J-H-A-R-E at E-R-P-R-A dot net. Thanks and have a great day.